Sarah Abad, we here from Horse Racing Nation with week two of the Outrun the Odds video segment where I talk about horses that I think have a big chance to outrun the odds, at least the ones on the morning line in upcoming weekend races. So the first race that I want to talk about for this week is the Grade 1 Woodbine Mile, which will be taking place on Saturday. It goes off as race nine at Woodbine, and this is a competitive field. You have 11 horses, so a nice full field of horses to choose from. And the one that I want to focus on is the number three, Wakanaka, a filly that's taking on the boys in here. She's 10 to 1 on the morning line, and there's certainly a deserving favorite in the number five modern game, who, if you paid any attention at all to the Breeders' Cup last year, you certainly know who this horse is, and your feelings beyond that are probably similar to mine about what happened in that race. But you also have a harder-knocking older veterans such as Ivar, you have Mighty Heart in here, plenty of familiar faces and horses that we've all kind of seen a lot of what they can do and the form that they've been in. And, you know, maybe some of them are kind of tailing off. Maybe some of them are improving. And I think Wakanaka is one that is improving at the right time. I also really like that she does have a win over this course, something that a lot of other horses in this race don't have to their credit. Now, she did win the Dance Smartly Stakes, a grade two event last time. And while that was over fillies and mares, and she is taking on the boys in here, I think that you can definitely say that she's been keeping some very credible company in her races prior to that one, running uh, at Churchill Downs, at Belmont Park, at Gulfstream Park. She's been facing some of those uh, very tough Chad Brown fillies like in Italian and Regal Glory. We've seen what they can do coming back at the Saratoga meet and how um, capable they are of running big races. And Regal Glory, of course, needs no introduction as she then went on to finish second in the Four Star Dave, also a grade one event behind Casa Creed. So she's certainly capable of taking on the Colts and Geldings. So why isn't Wakanaka? I also like about Wakanaka that she has this kind of tactical speed and she's shown that she can be a little bit more forwardly placed as she was in the Dance Smartly and that that is a successful move for her. And she was a very dominant force in that race. In prior races, we kind of saw her lay off the pace a little bit more and make more of a closing move. Now she gets a jockey change to Manny Franco, and this is a rider that I feel very confident in his capabilities of getting his position early on with a horse and making sure that he gives them the best chances to win. I know that some of the logical shorter priced horses will be very tough in this race and trip is certainly going to matter a lot in a full field on the turf, but I think that Wakanaka can make her own trip and at least hit the board in here as she has done in 12 of her 13 career starts and possibly make a little bit of noise underneath and I know that she won't be anywhere near the favorite. So I do feel confident that you'll get a little bit of a price on her if she does manage to outrun her odds in the Woodbine Mile. The other race that I want to talk about for this week is the Grade 3 Iroquois Stakes at Churchill Downs, beginning the road to the Kentucky Derby as well as the Kentucky Oaks. And there's two very exciting two-year-olds in this race with the number three, Damon's Mound, who is 5-2 to two on the morning line, as well as the outside entrant, number nine, Echo again. 2-1 to one on the morning line, and Echo again really came on the scene at Saratoga with a very eye-catching maiden win, going six and a half furlongs, a little bit towards the end of the meet. He was obviously very well-intentioned, and the connections thought highly of him, as did the betters as he went off favorite, and that race was certainly not only visually impressive, but also very impressive from a speed figure standpoint as well, coming back with a 94 buyer for that race, and never really seemed like he was asked significantly in the stretch, so certainly seems like there's more for him to give in the tank and now he'll be stretching out to the mile in the 16th distance for the first time as will Damon's Mound who we've seen two races from him has made and win obviously extremely eye-catching one by 12 and a half lengths I believe was the official final margin and then he came back and validated that performance in the Saratoga special going the six and a half furlongs defeating Gulfport who was a heavy favorite in that race and certainly Gulfport arguably had some traffic trouble in there, but I don't think that he was ever getting to Damon's Mount in the first place. I think it'll be tough to get past both of these individuals, but the horse that I want to hone in on to use in my exotics, maybe in an exacta with one of them or at the bottom of a try, or maybe at the bottom of a super would be the number eight confidence game who is 12 to one on the morning line. 
This is a horse that actually debuted against Damon's Mount and ran third that day, broke a little bit slowly. And so you can kind of make an excuse for why that one had to run on and continue to find their best stride late. Then next time out, going the six furlong distance again on August 13th at Churchill Downs was a win, showed some more early speed, a little bit more professionalism and an improvement from the first to the second start, which we see so often with these two-year-olds. And it certainly makes sense that he would take Another step forward in there. This horse has significant pedigree. I mean, if you look at the Grand Dam, you're looking at Zenyatta. So I know that her progeny haven't really been successful on the racetrack, but you can also say that perhaps maybe this one might be an exception going forwards. I don't really know how he makes up the difference on a horse like Damon's Mount or this new invader in Echo again, as well as some other members of this field. But I think that this is one that could be considered underneath. And I think with these two-year-olds, you always have to remember that they are capable of significant improvement from one start to the next as they're growing and changing and learning more about what it means to be a racehorse. So those are the two horses that I think will outrun the odds this weekend. Number three, Wakanaka in the grade one Woodbine Mile, and number eight, Confidence Game in the grade three Iroquois Stakes. Good luck this weekend.